This is the story of the Hillbrook Eye Lab. Hillbrook is an independent JK through 8 school in Los Gatos, California. In 2010, they were faced with a common dilemma. What to do with an aging computing lab? They decided to pilot test a new technology. Seventh graders each got an iPad. Based on the success of that trial, they rolled out a one-to-one -one iPad program for all of middle school. The personal, powerful, smart devices changed how, when, and where learning occurred, leading Hillbrook to rethink everything about learning, mobility, and space. What I find a lot of students wanting, which is also what the iPads provide is, they ask, can we work outside? Can we find a quiet place here? But being able to have the iPads, they're able to move to the far off table, tables over there or move over here. Um, with a laptop, you can't. It's just, well, I mean, they try, but it's just the bulkiness of it. Partnering with Bretford Manufacturing and Hero, Hillbrook embarked on a two-year research project to reimagine learning spaces. In the science lab, everything's fixed to the ground because of the way that the electronics were, I guess, 10 years ago. In my classroom itself, the tables are in a U shape. How do you create an environment where they understand that I can go over here to find a quiet spot to think about my ideas and create those ideas, but then I go over here to also share these ideas, but I can go over here to gain more support and resources for those ideas. The flexibility was really important. If you were able to change that and make it your own personal area, it would be much easier and more comfortable. The iLab is an agile classroom where students build spaces according to their needs. Our goal is to change the way schools think about learning spaces in a mobile world. In this space, you can adapt the room to the needs of the lesson. It's a place that you can basically move everything. And you don't get in trouble for it. But if it's always a blank slate and they come in yeah. and they can roll the chairs out and they can roll the tables out, yeah, they put their partitions up. If they know that each time that they get to do it the way that they want to do it. The iLab right now being a communal space, it seems to shift. Teachers will bring students into the space and they will say, this is the work we're going to do. Now create the environment that you need to get that work done. The iLab is agile by design. It encourages and affords both students and teachers to move, to manipulate the space, to use both their bodies and their minds to define how and where they learn. By enabling both freedom and control, the iLab supports a wide variety of teaching styles and learning settings, encouraging exploration, creativity, and fun. The essence of research is asking questions. The iLab offered the opportunity to collect evidence to answer the question, how does agile learning space affect teaching and learning? Several teachers agreed to conduct different sections of the same class in both their everyday classroom and in the iLab. This allowed direct comparison of a range of different learning spaces. Researchers collected anecdotal, ethnographic, and empirical evidence using surveys, behavioral observations, photos, videos, and interviews. The findings are intriguing and the evidence is powerful and persuasive. So tell me what you like about working in the iLab. Well, it's cool that you kind of get to make your own workspace, like uh, move around with like, your own whiteboard. You can have your own whiteboard to work on. You can adjust your workspace to however you want it to be. Like you can have it completely protected. Uh, by whiteboards on all sides, so nobody can see your work, or you can, or you can just have one whiteboard and then comfy chairs. And... It's uh, really easy to like choose a spot or get like make a private spot. Like you could like choose a corner and not be disturbed, or you could do the exact opposite and have like an open conversation where everybody can hear you and you can talk with everybody. It's completely your choice of what you want to do. You can move a table to the middle of the room or you can keep it a ring on the outside. It's good for meetings. It's just a great place to like work. But it's amazing for things like science, building things and it's also great for like the teacher talking and us like taking notes. It was great working here in English because the teachers would, are not cramped like into a little space with the whiteboard, mm -hmm. but they can move it around any way possible and then the students can sit anywhere they want. 
Because the iLab is so spatially efficient, it's almost perfect. I feel like it's more productive in here. Do you feel different when you're in the iLab space than when you're in a classroom space? Yeah, because um, usually when you're in this classroom, like you get to move around and walk around the room. No, but I think the iLab seems like newer, more modern almost, and the science lab is more old. It feels like you really have space and time to create and to think. Does it feel different than a regular classroom? I like it better because there's rolly chairs, so you kind of just you know spin around while you're listening. Uh, you can kind of do what you want to do at your own pace. I feel like there's, I guess, like more to science when you come in here. I feel like I'm more free. But in the iLab, it was important that there was both this open space while being the, the limitations of the walls. Where in the iLab, I think they, they might feel it's a little bit more open to be able to explore, create a different type of space. It's, it's, it's more flexible, definitely, in the iLab than it is in my classroom with the tables I have. The fifth grade participates in a cross-curriculum unit about bridges, and the final definition is about getting connected to your learning. We started in the classroom with this project, and as we found the definition for the project, we then moved into the iLab. What I also enjoyed about using the iLab was the space that it allowed for kids to stand, move around, use the whiteboards, and just really feel that their space was their own. Um, for them to be able to use different tabletops and find their own kind of little nook or niche, the kids are definitely engaged when they're using it. The engagement of the students certainly went up when there was kind of this physical representation. When I go to the iLab, we don't have all those distractions. They're just totally in that class. Uh -huh. You can have a clearer mind about mm. what you're doing. There's less clutter. I think the iLab, if I was going to design a curriculum for it, it could be moved to be something new just much more often, by, by me or by the students. That sense of autonomy, that sense that they have the control, it's a strong need. That is the spark that helps them then have that confidence to take that risk. So, yeah. Novelty is important just to sort of at least get that emotional response in a child's brain. The, uh, the energy in the iLab is greater than the energy in my classroom. But I wonder if it's because of the movement. I try to have my students move around a lot, but in my classroom some of them just then turned to the, where their partner was or just got up a seat and moved over to another seat. Where in the iLab, they, they're they looking at the classroom and the space itself and then deciding which will be their space. Do they want a comfortable chair? Do they want this type of chair? Do they want one table or not a table? And maybe that engagement of it then um, could be something that starts them into them thinking about the different ideas. That simple choice of creating the environment they think they need will engage them more deeply in the task at hand and they're already one step into the work before the work has even begun. So on the whole, both in the classroom and in the iLab, the, the students were a little bit more engaged maybe than the average, uh, a little bit more confident. Some of the people who are usually less involved were speaking. But I, w I would say that all of those effects were heightened in the iLab. 60% of the students who usually aren't involved and don't contribute to conversations, maybe they're listening, but they don't contribute, contributed what during the iLab class. And 10% of those students contributed outside of the iLab class. The creativity is what we're trying to foster, the creative problem solving that, that, that's going to help them to succeed in life. One of the things that, you know, it's, this is not to make the iLab the exclusive study on space, but it's to get people thinking about if I had a drastically different space. I'm putting myself in that frame of yeah. mind when I go to the iLab. Yeah. Sometimes like I'll go and I'll pull a chair up and just slide it in and sit down and it makes sort of a casual, more of a casual kind of atmosphere and you're just kind of talking and it, and it changes each time. It's not like, you know, the teacher's there standing covering over necessarily. Like, maybe it's interesting that space can actually influence that personal interaction between teacher and student. Teachers will bring students into the space and actively think, as soon as they step in the door, how can environment affect what is about to happen? How can I use the environment to make learning happen better or engage the students more. How do I spark this interest so that it's, and that's just the word that keeps coming up in my mind with environment, is, is allowing it to be the spark.
Thank you.